Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And it is Friday. That means another promo, right? We get a promo almost every Friday in this game of FIFA Ultimate Team. But we know what it is this time around. Future Stars, set number two. This is the loading screen. We're going to talk about it. Talk about some of the stuff that we see from it. Uh, I haven't really delved into like what the numbers mean, what kind of like our hints and stuff are for this one. Um, I'm just kind of letting those ride. Obviously, we can tell who the uh, headlining three players are going to be for this promo. But I want to talk about the content we're going to see today on Friday in foot, what can what you can expect, and then market movements as well, some possible investments, and uh, all of the content and stuff that you guys need to pre be prepared for for today on FIFA Ultimate Team. It's Friday, man. This is the big day that EA has been dropping content on every single week, it seems, uh, and I don't think that's going to change for this Friday. First of all, this is the loading screen that we just went through. Uh, three players they've shown in the front. I think we can easily guess who th these are going to be long to. Of course, on the left here, we have Valverde, center mid from Real Madrid. It has to be 92 rated from Dortmund. Has to be Haaland, in my opinion. And then also uh, 91 shot, and then Argentine is probably going to be Lautaro Martinez. So I think it's obvious these front three cards. These are the cards right here that we're looking at. Valverde's card could be nasty. That's a, that's a person that tons of people have been interested in. It's Valverde card, getting him. Halan's going to be very juiced, very, very expensive because uh, he has all the hype right now. And then Martinez is going to be a card. We, people say people were saying this card was going to get a special card during headliners. Now they're saying he's getting a special card during this promo, uh, it, it just makes sense that he would get this card because everybody talks about Latoro Martinez is coming. By the way, Matt for trading, thank you for those graphics. I appreciate you, man. Another GOAT trader in the community, good with graphics as well. If you don't follow Matt for trading, you should follow him. Cool guy. So let's talk about the rest of the content though for today, what should be coming. And I, I did some research and I looked back. The last couple Fridays that we've had a content release, uh, so, you know, we're talking last Friday for Future Star set one, and also the Friday before that for uh, Headliner set two, we had an SBC release on day one. Last Friday, if you remember correctly, was a massive day in foot. I don't think this day on this Friday is going to be that massive. I think it'll be a good day. It'll be a solid day. I don't think it's going to be as massive as last Friday was. Are we going to get another objective player tomorrow? I don't think so. I feel like these are our two objective players that we are going to have for this promo and they expire when the season expires. So these guys are out for, you know, they're out for like 30 some more days until this season expires, uh, which obviously this season was brand new. Season four was brand new last week uh, with the new icon swaps, the new objectives and stuff like that. With the first time ever seeing these Foot Future Stars Academy players, which is a great concept. I don't think we'll see any of those. I don't think we'll see any more of those players throughout the rest of this promo. Again, the, the big thing today is with the cards that come out in packs, the new squad that comes out today, how long is it going to be in the game? I think it's going to be another one of those promos where the promo stops on Tuesday, uh, kind of like how they've been doing with these two week promos. The first week is a full week and then the second one stops on Tuesday. And again, I'm getting that reasoning from these upgrade packs that expire on Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK. That's kind of the reasoning behind this. This is almost like a copy paste of the last promo with headliners. We got the upgrade packs on Monday or Tuesday, uh, and then they expire a week from then, from that time, basically on Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK, when that promo will finish. So that's how I feel about this next set of cards. They're gonna be in packs on, uh, on Friday today, and they're going to go out of packs on Tuesday. That is my guess on those cards. And again, for the content today, this is what I would expect. I would expect a player of the month Premier League SBC. I think that's what you'll see first. I know you're like, bro, why would we get that if Trent Alexander-Arnold is still out? The voting has been closed for multiple days, and usually when they close the voting on a Tuesday, they put the vote, they put the actual player out and that player gets announced on Friday. So watch this morning early or midday today for you UK guys, early morning for me. Watch out for a Premier League Player of the Month announcement on Twitter via EA's page. I think it's going to be Aguero or um, Allison, either of those two guys. And I made a video about that yesterday talking about if we could make some money off of that and what that SBC could do to the market. So I would expect that content first. But then other than that, I do expect another SBC tomorrow. But will it be a Future Stars SBC? Probably not. We've had 
Uh, Future Stars Kubo was released to, uh, on Thursday, and then we've also had Future Stars Moist Keen. So those are kind of the two Future Star SBCs that we have gotten. Do I expect another one? I don't really think so. I would expect a flashback or a player moments SBC because now Davies is gone, right? Davies is gone, so we have all those SBCs gone. The only thing that we really have right now is these player of the months and Kubo, and of course the the outstanding player SBCs, the moments cards back here of Sane and um, Hazard. So those are the only two SBCs that we really have out in the game right now. I would expect I would expect another player SBC today. Of course, it's a promo, right? There's going to be a new promo team with new cards out, and what does that mean? These cards are going to be in packs. There's going to be lightning rounds at 6 p.m. UK, and there's always going to be ways we can trade with these cards. And I want to talk about some specific things during these lightning rounds that you guys might want to look for and also talk about the first set of the FFS Future Stars cards going out of packs. I think this is something that should be talked about as well. Let's talk about the lightning rounds first though. So what happens during lightning rounds is obviously a lot of these cards get packed, right? The thing that I like to do most on lightning rounds is look at undercuts and look at very cheap prices and open bids on basically all types of cards in this game that are in packs. And uh, I'm going to show you a filter right here, which is a solid filter if you're anywhere from like uh, 500, 600,000 coins to um, like 5 million coins. You can set up a filter like this with the basic chem style. We look at this almost every week. The basic filter to get to the 59th minute for icons is a fantastic place to be uh, on a time where lighting rounds are being opened. So that was what I would recommend for you guys on high coin budgets. Get back here to the 59th, look for the fresh icons. Uh, and that's what using this basic chem style will, will help you find the fresh icons listed up at the 59th minute. And you will be able to find some undercuts and deals because a lot of times people open packs for these, these cards. They pack an icon. They don't exactly know how much it goes for. Sometimes they list too cheap. You know, sometimes they list way too cheap. Um, and then you find a deal on one of those cards. So that's one thing I would watch out for again is the 59th icon trading and uh, watch out for uh, for high rated golds, man. At the moment, uh, I have a club stock that is going very strong. 84s are pretty freaking cheap right now. Footbin is telling me that Wijnaldum is under 4,000 coins. He's right at 4K, which is pretty nuts. This card at 4K is, is actually pretty ridiculous. Um, I bought a couple of these and I have my transfer targets right now. That is an absolute club stock. And if you want to go unassigned, uh, I mean, you could if you want to, but obviously you're hoping for a big SBC to come out on that. I'm never a huge uh, proponent or a huge fan of going unassigned just because it, it doesn't allow you to trade. And that's why I do on this game a lot because it's fun. I just enjoy trading, right? And when you're unassigned, it's really hard to do that because you can't find the cards. So if you want to do a club stock though, 84s look really good to me. And of course, on all other high rated special cards tomorrow, if they don't jump up because of a player of the month SBC uh, that may be a, like really good value SBC in the morning, if they don't jump up because of that, uh, then look at getting some of these cards during lightning rounds for cheap deals. I think there's one that I still need to buy for my club. Who is it? I think it's a Laporte. Actually, you know what? I did buy a Laporte for my club. Maybe it's Alderweireld. Let me see if I can snag an Alderweireld for pretty cheap right now. Like low 20s? Is there any for like 22k for an Alderweireld? A lot of these 87 rateds, I would try to pay somewhere around the 20 to 22K range for them. Of course, a center back is going to be a little bit more inflated in price than somebody like Tiago would be as a CDM, just because center backs are needed a lot more for chemistry and squads. But look for these guys on open bid tomorrow, especially if you think that mid icon SBC is coming, which I have a hunch that it is. I do think that SBC is coming soon, maybe not today on Friday, but soon. So get on some of this stuff on bid as well high rated or just basically on anything that is in packs get on that during lightning rounds uh the last thing speaking of stuff that is in packs during lightning rounds is this week's team of the week some of these cards i think are getting to interesting prices because there's a lot of focus on the future stars right now and there's a lot of focus on just like what's coming next in this game so a guy like uh our boy here jaden sancho did I say that correctly? J Jaden? Jaden Sancho? I don't know how to say his name, man. It's J-A-D-O-N. Uh, to me, that sounds like 
Jaden, Jaden, I think it's Jaden. I think it's Jaden. I'm making it too, way too complicated. Jaden Sancho, center attacking mid position change card. This man is actually due for an upgrade, a winter upgrade. This card right here, not a lot of people have looked at that. And so FIFA just recently upgraded his rating within the past couple of weeks, basically in the past month. You can see here, he was an 84 rated, which is what his base card is in foot. But at the moment, he is upgraded to an 85. I don't know if this is actually going to be upgraded by EA Sports when they do winter upgrades, when that is coming in, in the future. I don't know when that exactly is, but at the moment he is shown as uh, 85 rated. So that would mean this card would get an upgrade. It would go up to an 88 rated card. I did the research. If he does get the 85, it'll boost up his other, um, it'll boost up his Team of the Year nominee, which will boost up his inform, the 86, which will boost up this inform, uh, the 87, move them all up plus one rating. And this, is a, again, it's a position change card. If you see this guy somewhere around the price range of like 90, under 90,000 coins, right now in the market, I think he's 94K. I think this Sancho card, and if I had to pick one out of this team of the week, this might be my guy to be interested in as an investment out of packs. Let's look at Sancho again. Right around like 90-ish K, I think he is at the moment. If you see this card tomorrow during lighting rounds, or if you if you can snag him on bid for somewhere around like the 80K range, I know that might be asking a bit much, but you know what? Open bids, uh, he was 91,000 coins earlier tonight. So him dropping to 80K is definitely not out of question. He will probably be his cheapest. This team of the week will probably be its cheapest at some point between Friday night and Saturday night, in my opinion. I don't really expect a team of the week SBC um, but this team of the week is perfect for EA to supply a lot of the high rated informs for SBCs that they could be putting out later that these cards could be used in, especially like Lukaku, especially like Parejo, um, Kazorla, uh, Immobile, 90 rated SBC, almost fodder cards, right? Yeri Mina, 84 rated, 13K. There's some SBC fodder type cards in this team of the week that would be perfect for a mid icon SBC or big SBCs coming down the line. So maybe doing a club stock of this week's team of the week during lightning rounds as well could be good because a lot of times these cards get their cheapest during lightning rounds from the current team of the week. So I would, I would look at that uh, again, looking at this team of the week, who are guys that you would possibly want to put your coins into if this is somewhere you want to go. I would say Sancho would be a good one. Tellez would be a solid one. Yoris would be good. And honestly, Di Maria as well. This being the best version of Di Maria in this game, look at the 87, man. This 87 Di Maria, who's been out in the game for a while. Of course, we have the Moments SBC. But that's no longer available. This Di Maria card, 70,000 coins, dropped down to like 45. Back up, he was almost at, he was at 70K again before the new one came out. And this card, with the solid boost on it, is now only 50,000 coins. He's 55K right now on the PlayStation. So... This guy, if you could, if you see this guy dropping to like 40,000 coins flat, I would be a massive, massive fan of this card at 40K. Uh, even 45K, I think, is way, way, way too cheap for this if you see it go there because, again, he was just 49,000 coins. Um, Di Maria, PSG, you know, he, he is a staple in FIFA, especially if you need a right wing from La Le or for a Ligue 1 and maybe a link to an Mbappe or Neymar or you're just a PSG fan. I'm a fan of that during landing rounds as well. I want to look at these cards because these cards are, um, they're low. These cards have taken a massive hit tonight. People are selling these cards before the next promo because they're afraid that something might come out or they just want to get ready for the new cards that are coming into packs. And I want to talk about these because I think that some of these are going to rise tomorrow night. And this is something that we see a lot of times in foot is we see these cards they get low, uh, selling. In, there's like some panic selling into the promo. People are, you know, panic selling their cards, getting ready for the promo to come out, getting ready for the promo to start, and they buy those cards back in the evening after you know the promos come out. They they've seen the cards that are in the game, and they go back and they buy their teams back for weekend league because they need to play weekend leagues with their cards that they have. So they buy a lot of stuff back on Friday nights. You know, a lot of times we talked about Thursday flipping in this game, but honestly, the best time to flip is you buy Friday morning or you buy Friday around 6 p.m. UK, and then you sell later in the nighttime as people buy teams back for foot champions. Hopefully this week, we don't have server issues again because that killed some of the market buyback last week as people were not able to even get on the game. 
people not getting onto the game obviously does not help the market rise because nobody can access the game. Hopefully that does not happen again this week. Please EA Sports, let us play your game. Uh, but that's something that we have to kind of you know contemplate and be aware of. This card right here, 800,000 coins for this card. He's dropped a bunch. Uh, I'm kind of curious with this, especially if Valverde comes out today. Will he rise with the Valverde link? He's Brazilian. I don't know what the reviews are for this card. I've heard he's decent. I'm also very curious about Greenwood, right? Because a lot of people love this card. He is currently just over a mil. So he's dropped a decent amount. He's like 1.08, I believe. 1.08. Yes, right there. So again, if you see a striker come out tomorrow in the new team, maybe it's an English striker. I don't know who it would be. Maybe like Tammy Abraham. Would it make sense for him to be in? But it's possible, I guess. Then you might see this card drop. That's another thing that I wanted to mention, right? You see these cards, they might go, they're going out of packs tomorrow. They might drop a little bit or they might just straight up fly out of packs because I think a lot of people are just waiting for this next set of cards. Uh, there is one card today that has gone up. One of the future stars from set one has gone up today and that is Emerson. I think this was the most obvious investment coming out of future star set one. Brazilian right back, we finally have one. This is our Brazilian right back in this game. If you want one, this is your basically your only guy. He was 135,000 coins this morning. I'll show you the graph right now. He was 135,000 coins this morning during rewards on the PlayStation console. He is now up to 159, 160K. Yeah, 135, 133, where was he? Uh, he never hit 135, actually, according to Footbin. 133, there it is. That's what I was looking for. 133K this guy was this morning, and he's all the way up to 159. Why is this happening? He's rare. He's I mean, The Kubo SBC that came out today, I mean, this is a guy you can link Kubo with. It's not a strong link. It's just a soft link, but... It is a right back that is in La Liga. And again, he's Brazilian. And this is the most obvious investment if you're going to invest in a card that's going out of packs for future stars. Emerson, uh, just because he is that Brazilian right back that we have not had in this game. So the fact that he's up 20K already suggests to me that it's a little bit over invested. And I would be very careful with that. Of course, tomorrow, if we get another English right back, like let's say they put Wamba Saka in future stars. This uh, Aaron's card would probably take a hit, but again, it's out of pack. So just watch tomorrow. If there's any cards that come out that are, you know, I guess a, a substitute good for some of these future stars that were in last week. Like if we get another Bundesliga center back, or if we get another center attacking mid from the Prem, or we get another left mid from the Prem, just be careful with these cards prices. You might see them take a hit, but that could be the absolute buy time because these cards are down a lot from what people were paying for them the first weekend. People were paying 1.1 to 1.2 mil for Tonali. He is now down to 900k. Uh, Greenwood, nah, Greenwood was 1314. Martinelli, this guy I think it might have the biggest drop out of all the future stars. This guy was 800k first day, 800k selling consistently, and now he's 465,000 coins. Will this guy rise? I think he has to. Brazilian left mid in the prem. I do see a little bit of a rise there, but again, it, it just all depends on these cards and what comes out in set two. Of course, there could be some situations with set two where, you know, we don't have any left backs. There's 150. Am I about to buy that? It's still there. Interesting. I'm, I'm going to let that sit, but there are no left backs that were in this set of future stars cards, right? We had two right backs in Aaron's and Emerson no left backs and we only had a couple center backs i would expect there to be a left back in this next team set why and then why would this happen right a lot of times you see ea drop sbcs to get you hooked on cards like they dropped a left back sbc with um alfonso davies and they also dropped mckinney right and that's a an american in the bundesliga they also dropped a bundesliga left back in um alfonso davies a lot of people did that sbc I would expect a left back and I wouldn't be surprised if there was a left back from the Bundesliga in this set too, because a lot of times what EA does is they try to suck your coins by putting out an SBC that is a left back position or a right back position or a position that you think is going to be, you need to do that SBC, right? It's a solid card. It's cool, right? Boom. You do the SBC, SBC goes away. Soon after that, Weston McKinney is a perfect example of this. Um, there is a man named Tyler Adams, who plays in the Bundesliga, who is also a center attacking mid, who could be 
uh, validated as a future star himself. If this card right here, if Tyler Adams gets a future stars card in foot today, then this is an ex this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about with EA trying to make you lose coins in your personal account. They want you to do that McKenny SBC. Let's say you did McKenny, you paid whatever, how much what was that? The SBC was like 130, 140K, right? Then they give Adams a future stars card that is on the market that you can buy. And then boom, you're like, bro, I need to go get that card too. So it's just kind of like they release, they do this a lot of times where they release an SBC for a type of player that fits in a category inside of a league or a nationality. He fills that role and then they release another card after it with the, in that same role to try to get you to go buy that card or to, that you did the SBC and now you're like, bro, I need to get this card too. And they just try to divert your interests around because when you're, you're, you're not centralized, you're not focused on what you're doing with your account and with your coins, that's when you lose coins because you're taking they're taking a little bit from you here they're taking a little bit from you here oh here's 120k sbc oh here's a you know a 50k sbc they, they do that all the time and that's how they drain coins from this game and that's how they make money is because then you go buy fifa points to replenish that coin amount but we here don't do that we trade on the market so we don't have to spend those coins we learn some knowledge that we can apply in all aspects of life and have fun on fifa doing it so again that's just a little run over of stuff that I think we should see today in FIFA Ultimate Team. Again, I don't expect an objective player. I expect a pretty solid group of cards in packs. I'm excited to see the rest of the team, right? Because last week I was surprised when I saw this, the rest of the squad, because I knew Felix was coming. We knew Rodrigo was coming and we also knew that uh, Martinelli was coming. So that was cool to see those guys. But then the rest of the, the squad was sick as well. I'm excited to see who gets in for the rest of the squad on set two of future stars but no objective today i would expect an sbc i would expect a pack supply sbc also premier league player of the month is a possibility as well if you guys enjoyed this video smash your thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out